Happy anniversary, Blake. At our first wedding, I was so happy that day. The way you looked at me. Because you were the most beautiful bride. I wish that we were getting remarried today, especially with Ed being back and everything. Oh, dear God. So much has changed. Ross, I want the same thing I do. But we can't while Tori's out there waiting for us, watching us. Waiting to take you away from me forever. That is not going to happen. Yeah, well, Tori's not going to disappear unless we take action. Oh, we will, dear. We will. Would you dance with me? If I ever made you feel less than beautiful. We're dancing. Mm. I'm checking on you two. <sighs> After that fight at the wedding? Well, it looks like you have kissed and made up. Yeah, actually, better than that. That wasn't a fight. We staged it. What? We staged a fight for Tori's benefit. What? Tori is alive and kicking. You saw Tori at the wedding? As clearly as I'm looking at you right now. Oh, Tori, Tori, Tori. Sometimes things just work out so perfectly. Hmm. Ross loves me. He loves Blake not. He loves me. I mean, isn't it bad enough that this little tramp ruined our lives, and now you're gonna accuse me of... Uh, well, I, you know, I can't even say it. For once in your life, would you try to control yourself? Oh, you should be the one to talk about self-control. Why didn't you use any? When it mattered... No, you couldn't keep your hands off the little slut. All right, shut up! He lost me. Okay, now we call the police and let them deal with uh, it. Uh, no, no, we're not. Look. A Tory who could do everything that Blake just described is capable of anything. Is that why you sent the kids away? Yes, they are with uh, Uncle Justin and Cousin Samantha, and Justin said that they could stay there as long as need be. Okay? Well, no one is safe until Tori is locked up. Look, Mom, no one wants to sick the cops on her more than we do, but uh, well, we don't know where to start. Because, once again, she has vanished into thin air. Now, we are a little afraid that this plan could backfire on us. No, you've lost me. Mom, I kept Tori locked up. Some might say I'm as much of a criminal as she is. Oh, that's ridiculous. Uh, Unfortunately, it is not. Now, I promise you, eventually we will bring the police into this. We just have to catch up with her. All right. So what's the plan? Well, we can tell you that the plan started with our fight at Josh and Reva's wedding. Yeah, we want Tori to think that we're at each other's throats. Oh, so you think by staging a, a, a fight, you're going to get this lunatic to confess? Holly, that's just the beginning of it. There's much more to it than that. Oh, come on. Just go along with this. I promise that we won't let it get dangerous. You are playing chicken with Tori Granger, and you want me to just sit and watch? Actually, we're going to need your help. <gasps> oh, honey. 
would know where to find me. I'm here, Ross. I'm waiting for you. Okay, just let me know if you need to take it easy, all right? Oh, sweetie, how can I take it easy when you're so close to me? You're making my heart go pitter-patter. My well, weak heart, that is. All the more reason to get you a new one. Uh, all right. Damn it, what happened to calling before you just dropped by? Michelle must be so happy that you're back. I know that she and Rick missed you. So incredible to see their faces. I mean, especially Michelle. Oh, yes, yes, of course. Especially Michelle. She's much prettier than Rick. Okay. Well, she is. But, you know, Rick was an adult when I left, and Michelle was still a girl. So to see her now as a, as a woman, you know, a, a wife and a mother, I'm still recovering. <laughs> She's a wonderful young woman. Yes. The best of you and Maureen. Mm. This is so good of you to be here, especially for Rick. Oh, we heard that he moved up the list for heart donors. Yes, so, um, we're all hopeful. Will you stay for dinner? I'm not cooking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, honey, I, I wish I could, but I was, I was just on my way to see Rick at the hospital. You know, I was, I was walking by, and I <laughs> saw this place, and I thought, no, I'm gonna, I don't You're wanna put off... walking by? <laughs> it's yeah. miles from the hospital. No, I like walking. Besides, I haven't re renewed my license yet, so, you know, it's... Well, I'm on my way to company. I could drop you by there. Unless you'd rather walk. I'll take the ride. You're leaving? I couldn't be more offended. You're just <laughs> rushing off on me just like this? <laughs> Mom, why don't you help me in the back and I'll let these two catch up and... oh. Here, take a look at our fabulous, wonderful children. Required viewing. <laughs> so how's by you, Ross? You look a little world-weary. Is everything okay? Well, actually, no. Um, it's been a difficult year, and now Blake and I are working out our problem together. Can I do anything? Oh, no, I think you've got quite enough to do tending to your son. But I can't tend to him. All we can do is wait for a donor heart for a total stranger to try and save my son's life because I can't do it. Hey, Edward, the fact that you came back and you're here for Rick, don't you underestimate the power of that? with these beautiful kids. What would we give for our kids to save them? Our lives. <laughs> Edward, is there something that I can do for you? You've already done it, Ross. Rick and Michelle said that you were the one they turned to when I was gone, and I just, I can't thank you enough for that. And I just hope that you know that you can tell me anything at all about your life. I mean, I've already heard a little bit about what's been going on, so. Oh, yes, I'm sure that you have. It's not like it's a secret anymore. I started teaching at the university. She was a law student of mine. And it was the biggest mistake that I ever made. Well, we'll leave it at that. Until you want to talk about it some more. And then what you do is you reach over and you... you pick up a phone. You just don't know how many times I needed to do that.
Ross, please. Just give us a chance. I can change. I can be more like Tori. Blake, it is over. I'm putting end to this fiasco of a marriage of ours. Please, Ross, think of the children. No, enough is enough. I'm leaving you to be with the true love of my life. Miss Granger, I'm yours if you'll have me. I see pictures of myself around the house, you know, and I, I look at him, me, and I don't recognize myself in that man. And the same thing when people look at me, I see this thing in their eyes like they, they expect something. So I'm, I'm thinking, you know, this, this Ed Bauer guy, he must have had all the answers, whereas I feel like I don't know anything. So I guess the answer to your question is, I mean, I, I must be a different person than when I left. I, I don't think any, anyone is expecting you to walk on water. I think everybody is just very glad to have you home. Well, I gotta get to the hospital, see how All right, I have my appointment. But, um... You're back. I'm sure we'll, we'll see each other again. Yes? Oh, you didn't say anything. I'm sorry. No, I, what, what, I, what I wanted to do was ask some more questions about you. I mean, what, what's going on in your life? And Next time. Yes, next time. <laughs> 